Yeah, what I don't do, pal, is overload the bag. Gee whiz, those guys that lump around typewriters and hell knows what? No, I travel light. Hey, Bill, what are you doing? Well, I'm just showing the guy how I pack my stuff. Okay. Boy, the crowd sure are quiet today. Yeah, yeah, you're telling me. Hey, stick around, Joe. The Sarge said he was coming to talk for you. All right, we got a spade here. Get rid of that. Ah. Got uh, a wash roll or uh, a ditty bag, whichever. Some cigarettes. Oh, we get these army books. Low cost. <laughs> I've been reading this one since England. I mean, not, nothing to write home about. Oh, everybody smokes. Everybody wants these. Keep them hushed if you have a spare pack. Got some soap. Joey over here doesn't use his. We can smell him a mile away. <laughs> uh, first aid packet. You never know when you might need it, buddy. Yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah, I, I picked uh, I picked these up in London. Some film and a new camera. I, I ain't used them yet. I ain't had the time, but I got two rolls of it, though. Figured if I make it to Paris, I might as well get some swell shots of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, it's a, it's a real nice camera. I, I, I never owned one before, so I have nothing to compare it to. But, yeah, this is beautiful. Uh, I keep some letters under here. Uh, yeah, private stuff, buddy. My wallet. And I got a telegram when we was uh, in basic back in the States. The birth of my kid. Ah, it's just a keepsake. Reminds me of home. Yeah, a letter from my, uh, well, it's none of your business. <laughs> Spare paper and envelopes for writing. A sewing kit. I never use it, but I keep a pencil in here for letters. Some spare socks and a scarf here. Oh, now this. This is uh, this is a German flag I got. I'll wait till I tell my folks back home. Boy, what a story! I'm coming down this road a few miles west of here. Whole place is shelled to hell, and I see this German half track all beat up with this this draped over the front. When we and the guy next to me both see it, we, we so we run like crazy. First guy keeps it. Anyway, I grab it second before he does, and he starts bawling me out. Come on, Joe, play fair. I promised my kid brother I'd bring him something home. He really wanted this thing. So we're standing there arguing, and then suddenly this crowd sniper opens up on us out of nowhere. Boy, I never ran faster in my life. But I, uh, I kept hold of this thing. <laughs> Wasn't going to let that go. Uh, my wallet, yeah, never use it now. Keep it safe and dry in here. All, all the dough from different places I've been. I got British money. God knows how that works. Uh, French francs they give us, and uh, this is my this is my ID card. So Uncle Sam knows everything about me, my fingerprint, what I my favorite color is, if I like Rita Hayworth or Betty Grable, all of that kind of stuff. What else? Uh, oh yeah, I got tickets from a show I seen in London one time. Not bad. And my medical card, same thing. And then in here, the moment of truth. Yeah, I got the standard. I got my spoon. Keep, keep it nice and clean. My knife, my fork. Got some spare matches. Keep them dry and safe if you ain't got no lighter fuel. Ah, my mess kit. Keep some stuff in here. Uh, we have gum, candy, and uh, and this. Don't, don't, don't tell the guys. Just a little taste of home. I got some Hershey bars. Mm, I'll eat those later. And my wash rolls. I actually keep this thing quite neat, which uh, I got my towel here, keep it nice and dry, don't want a wet towel, I got my razor and my mirror, 
couple of those out there. Got a comb. Some Brill Cream for the hair. You gotta look good for the French dames when I see them. Shaving soap in here. And the tooth powder. Keep that smile pearly white. Good stuff. Got my toothbrush. Too damn easy to stop brushing your teeth out here, but don't stop. And uh, a shaving brush. I got this one in the States. It's real quality hair. Ah, GI's best friend, Lucky's. I mean, don't tell the guys we, we, we got to a shortage out here this week. Hey, you been holding out on this bill? What? Give me a smoke, will ya? No chance. Come on, that lousy kid Kelly owes me some smokes. Don't be a cold fish. You beat it, Joe. <laughs> I'd rather give him to the Germans. You're a real pal, Bill. I see you forgot when I saved your life already. What? So you gave me a canteen of water? I practically saved your life, Bill. You're a dopey guy, Joe. You know that? Yeah. That's what the dames say. <laughs> <laughs>